court would note the presence of all members of the jury together with counsel and Mr. King, who is the foreperson of the jury. For the record, juror number three, I'm sure that the jury has reached verdict. Please send the verdict forms to the bailiff. Okay, I will read the verdicts. In the Superior Court of the State of California, in and for the County of San Diego, the people of the State of California Plaintiff versus Jason Riley King Defendant. Verdict, count one. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Jason Riley King, not guilty of the crime of murder, a felony, on or about May 16, 2015. Victim, Madison Cornwell, in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, as charged in count one of the information. Dated January 22, 2018, signed juror number three, foreperson. Same title, court, and cause. Verdict, count two. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Jason Riley King, not guilty of the crime of murder, a felony, on or about May 16, 2015. Victim, Annie Lee Baldock, in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, as charged in count two of the information. Dated January 22, 2018, signed juror number three, foreperson. Same title, court, and cause. Verdict, count three. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Jason Riley King, guilty of the crime of gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, a felony, on or about May 16, 2015. Victim, Madison Cornwell, in violation of Penal Code Section 191.5A, as charged in count three of the information. We also find true that the defendant violated Vehicle Code Section 21651C, wrong way driving. We also find true that the defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Madison Cornwell, who was not an accomplice to the above offense, in violation of Penal Code Section 1192.7C8. Dated January 22, 2018, signed juror number three, four person. Same title, court, and cause, count four. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Jason Riley King, guilty of the crime of both gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, a felony, on or about May 16, 2015. Victim, Annie Lee Baldock, in violation of Penal Code Section 191.5A, as charged in count four of the information. We also find true that the defendant violated Vehicle Code Section 21651C, wrong way driving. We also find true that the defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Annie Lee Baldock, who was not an accomplice to the above offense, in violation of Penal Code Section 1192.7C8, dated January 22, 2018, signed juror number three, four person. Same title, court, and cause. Verdict, count five. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Jason Riley King, guilty of the crime of driving under the influence causing injury, a felony, on or about May 16, 2015, in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23153A, as charged in count five of the information. We also find true that the defendant violated Vehicle Code Section 21651C, wrong way driving. We also find true that the defendant violated the duty to exercise ordinary care at all times and to maintain proper control of the vehicle. We also find true that the defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Yuki Izuka, not an accomplice to the above offense, causing him to become comatose 
in violation of Penal Code Section 12022.7b and 1192.7c8. We also find true that the defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Stosh Ozog, not an accomplice to the above offense, in violation of Penal Code Section 12022.7a and 1192.7c8. We also prove that the defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Jared Molitoris, not an accomplice to the above offense, in violation of Penal Code Section 12022.7a and 1192.7c8. We also find true that the defendant proximately caused bodily injury or death to more than one victim in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23558, to wit, Yuki Izuka. We also find true that the defendant proximately caused bodily injury or death to more than one victim in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23558, to wit, Stosh Ozog. We also find true that the defendant proximately caused bodily injury or death to more than one victim in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23558, to wit, Jared Molitoris. We also find true that the defendant's blood alcohol concentration was in excess of 0.15% by weight in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23578, dated January 22, 2018, signed juror number three, four person. Same title, court, and cause. Verdict, count six. We, the jury, in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Jason Riley King, guilty of the crime of driving with a measurable amount of alcohol causing injury, a felony, on or about, on or about, May 16, 2015, in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23153B, is charged in Count 6 of the information. We also find true that the defendant violated Vehicle Code Section 21651C, Wrong Way Driving. We also find true that the defendant violated the duty to exercise ordinary care at all times and to maintain proper control of the vehicle. We also find true that the defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Yuki Izuka, not an accomplice to the above offense, causing him to become comatose in violation of Penal Code Section 12022.7b and Penal Code Section 1192.7c8. We also find true that the defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Stosh Ozog, not an accomplice to the above offense, in violation of Penal Code Section 12022.7a and Penal Code Section 1192.7c8. We also find true that the defendant personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Jared Molitoris, not an accomplice to the above offense, in violation of Penal Code Section 12022.7a and 1192.7c8. We also find true that the defendant proximately caused bodily injury or death to more than one victim in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23558, to wit, Yuki Izuka. We also find true that the defendant proximately caused bodily injury or death to more than one victim in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23558, to wit, Stosh Ozog. We also find true that the defendant proximately caused bodily injury or death to more than one victim in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23558, to wit, Jared Molitoris. We also find true that the defendant's blood alcohol concentration was in excess of 0.15% by weight in violation of Vehicle Code Section 23578, dated January 22, 2018, signed juror number three, four person. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, were these your verdicts as read? Does either side wish to have the jury polled? All right, and Madam Clerk, please record the verdicts.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of the entire San Diego Superior Court, I want to thank you so much for your service in this case. There are very simple matters that come into these courthouses, and they are very difficult, very emotional, very complicated cases, and you, you sat on a very emotional and difficult case. If it were not for people like you who are willing to take time out of your busy schedules, our justice system would obviously fall apart. We so appreciate your service. I had previously told you that while the case was pending, that you were not permitted to speak to anyone about your jury service. That admonition has now been lifted. If you would like to speak to someone, you may feel free to do so. However, you need to be aware that you are under no obligation to speak to anyone, and if there is any attempt to contact you in an unreasonable place or time, please notify the court immediately. There are some media people in the courtroom who, um, if you go out the front entrance, they may wish to speak with you. Again, you can feel free to not speak with them. If you would prefer to go out the back entrance, uh, the bailiff could escort whoever would wish to go out the back way, and uh, you can be escorted down to the first floor and out of the building. So I'll leave that up to you. How many of you would like to be escorted out the back way? Okay, Deputy, could we accomplish that, sir? All right. So uh, the rest of you uh, may depart at this time. I hope you have all your belongings. You are my last jury to be in the old courthouse and my first jury to return a verdict in the new courthouse. So thank you. Um, my preference would be to set this on a Friday if possible. It could take some time. I assume people would want to speak. Um, so, for example, um, we could do February 23rd, March 2nd. March 9. Are any of those dates convenient? Ms. Bright? Okay. And I'm dark on the 23rd. March 9 is fine. Oh, you cannot be. So you would need to do I, I'm out of the state on the 23rd, sorry. <laughs> that date worked with Ms. Bright, but not with me. Um, the 30th, March 30th. Oh, Cesar Chavez Day. How about the 29th, Thursday the 29th of March? Oh, my goodness. Okay, the first Friday in April would be April 6th. That works for us. Is that agreeable? Sure. Is that okay with you, sir? Okay, let's set it at uh, 2 o'clock on uh, Friday, April 6th. Uh, do you have time for sentencing, Mr. King? All right, so we'll see everyone uh, Friday, April 6th at 2 p.m. in this department, 1804. Thank you.